Hey everybody, it's time for another Mini Mondays, and today I'm going to be talking about the Wander Over Yonder shorts. Now this is a set of shorts, it's 11 shorts that are each one minute long, so all the shorts together make up the length of one regular episode of Wander Over Yonder. So the reason I want to talk about this is mostly just because of the news of the cancellation of the series following season 2. Um, I'm extremely upset about this, and as some of you loyal viewers know, I did a few pe petitions to get the show renewed. I know it's not really gonna come to anything, but you know, you don't know if you don't try. Anyway, so these shorts uh, basically just show Lord Hater uh, has captured Wander and is just trying to destroy him on live television that's being broadcast throughout the universe. And it's Lord Hater, so of course he doesn't succeed and, you know, in various humorous ways and stuff. So it's pretty basic. Obviously, they're each one minute long, so they can't be super deep or anything. I don't think it's the best... Um, example of the comedy that the show offers, but I still think it's it's worth a chuckle and definitely worth seeing just because it's basically just one episode, you know, it's not really not worth your time to watch it. So I really do think you should watch it, but I actually think you should watch the show first if you haven't seen these shorts because I don't think they're a good example of the humor that the show conveys and, and um, just the stories and the characters. I just think it's sort of stereotyping the characters a little bit, except maybe Wander who it's just Wander, you know, he's just a sweet little guy. Um, but Lord Hater, I feel, is a little bit stereotyped in this because the humor has to be very quick. So if you want to get the full Lord Hater experience, uh, you should watch the show. So this series of shorts takes place between season one and season two in that it aired to sort of generate hype for season two. And I think it's a neat idea. Um, I just kind of wish that maybe they had gone with 11 different scenarios instead of one scenario over 11 episodes because it does kind of get repetitive even though they're only one minute long uh it kind of gets repetitive so it's still funny it's still worth a look it's just just keep in mind it's repetitive it's not super deep it's not very funny but it's worth a look it's lord hater and wander together that's always fun but uh, yeah, so I really just did this because I think it's really a shame that the show didn't get a third season um, because nowadays it seems like shows are mostly finishing with their stories, you know, all wrapped up and everything and I'm pretty sure Steven Universe is gonna end that way, probably Rick and Morty will end that way as well. All these really good story-based cartoons are kind of getting all their stuff wrapped up but Wonder Over Yonder just doesn't get that and I feel like Disney has been giving Wonder Over Yonder a really hard time. Like, I know this is supposed to be about the shorts but I just, I already did my review of Wonder Over Yonder so I just, I w really want to say this. I just feel like Disney didn't give the show the support it deserved. Barely mentioned, constantly going on hiatus, they're not making merchandise, no plans for home releases of the episodes. It's insulting, honestly. I don't know what they have against this show, but I think this video needs to serve as more of a shout out to the show in general, more so than my original review does, just because learning that this show, that it's definitely worthy of getting a season three over many shows that exist right now, um, just being thrown aside kind of is just I think it's a real shame and if nothing else you should check out these shorts because they're a good entry-level uh, form to the show you know they, they kind of just they show you what to expect but just the most basic level of it so yeah if you haven't seen the shorts uh, but you like the show I'd say check them out if you haven't seen the show you could probably hold off on the shorts for a bit, maybe hold them until you've seen the first season and gauge if you kind of like the humor of the show or not. But yeah, just in general for all of Wander Over Yonder, you should watch it because it's a show that deserves a lot more love than it gets from its distributors. And that's all I have to say about that.